Hey, what's going on guys? JC here. And what I'm bringing you guys today is a quick little tutorial on a very easy way to add the essential economy line to do your types. And you could also do events. You could also do spawnable types this way. And what it does is just, it allows you to essentially make all of these changes based on whatever mod you want without actually having to go into your database folder and like edit your your database itself. So instead of the normal way that we're all used to is say you add a mod, you want to add the types, you're going to come in here to your types.xml and then you would essentially copy everything over. There's another way to do it that I think is a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier because whenever you want to make changes to a certain mod, it's like incredibly easy to do it and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. So for this instance, what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the Steam Workshop and we're going to download Morty's. So Morty's is one of the mods that already has it kind of set up for you, makes it really easy. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're going to install Morty's weapons onto our server. You wanna make sure that your server is turned off when you're doing this. Uh, you don't, you don't wanna have the server running while you're installing mods or uninstalling mods. I know that's pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I should probably mention that. Anytime you're doing any sort of work like this, always shut your server down. Now, if you're just making changes to the types files or changes to nominals or, or things like that, you don't necessarily have to shut the server down. You can have it going while it's live. Say you have a bunch of players on your server and you don't wanna interrupt the, you know, it's like a weird restart time. You can make the changes, whatever changes you want, and then on the next restart, excuse me, those changes will take place. But if there's nobody on the server, it's a completely empty server, shut the server down, it just makes everything much easier. So once you install the, the mod onto your server, we will be able to come over here to our file manager, and on the left, you'll see that here's Morty's weapons. So when you go into Morty's weapons, there's always, most mods, they'll have an info folder, and then they'll have a trader's text. We're not doing trader today, but right here, central economy. So the way I like to do it is if you open up this CFG economy core, this is not something that you want to replace with yours. Like you want to keep yours, but right here, you're going to want to copy this. And then we're going to actually go into our root missions folder. So for this instance, we're doing actually, I think the test server set up for Livonia. So we're going to go into Enoch and then we're gonna edit their economy core and you're gonna come down here, just go ahead and create some spaces and then paste. That's good. And then we're gonna save and then we're gonna come back to Morty's weapons. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this, essential economy, we're going to grab this folder and we're gonna put this inside our missions file or our missions folder. So if you've done it successfully, You'll see your database, your environment, and then you'll see Morty CE. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to rename this and I'm going to rename this to be modded underscore CE. So now when I come into here, this is our Morty's uh, spawnable types and this is our Morty's types files. So this is all of Morty's weapons. It looks beautiful. And then this is all of Morty's um, spawnable types. So like I said, the only way we do it this way is instead of having to come into here, going into our types, copying everything over, and then our types file being 10,000 extra lines long, you do it through a modded CE folder. Now, if you're going to change the name of the folder, which I would highly recommend, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your economy core again, and then this folder right here, just name this modded underscore CE, just the way you have it. We're gonna hit save and exit, and that's it, you're done. So say we wanna do another mod. So let's go to our Steam Workshop. Um, let's try another good one. Let's do, um, let's do clouds. So clouds, for instance, they're military gear. This has a lot of types. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna install and you'll, you'll install the mod like you normally would. Now, once the mod is installed, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go to our file manager. We're gonna open up Clouds Military Gear, and you'll see right here where it says all types V10 sorted by camos.xml. 
these are all the camos. And then what is this one? This is V types 10 only. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab this one right here. So let's open up our missions, Enoch. We're going to grab this. We're going to put this into our modded CE. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this. And we're just going to call this clouds underscore types. We're going to come back to our central economy. I'm going to copy this line right here. Let's actually put it up here so everything kind of stays equal. And then we're going to change this to clouds underscore types. And we're going to save and exit. And now it's going to pull from that. But what I just noticed was this types files is not set up correctly to do this. So if you want to do this, what you're going to have to do is we're going to open up Morty's types. You see this, this line right here, this XML version 1.0, and then it has an opening types. We're going to copy this and we're going to put this at the very top. Whoops, wrong button, control V. And then at the very bottom, we need to come right here. And then we need to close our types like so. And then these lines are extra. We can just kind of get rid of these. Save and exit. So now once we load into the server, it's going to pull all of these types files just like this. This is okay. Being that this, the spaces here are fine because it's commented out. It'll pull up our spawnable types and it will pull our Morty's types files as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the server and I'm going to go into the server and I'm going to pull up my tools and I will show you in game that all of those items are in fact in game. So now that we're in game, we're going to turn our tools on. Let's just go ahead and make it, uh, let's see here, 10 AM. I don't know why it's, server's dark, but it is what it is. So we're going to go to our XML editor. Now, Morty stuff is TTC, I believe. There it is. Um, let's check some things to make sure they're actually spawning in the game. So the AWM, we have two of them. Uh, let's go to the bar. There's five of them. So as you can see, the modded stuff is already spawning in. So let's go to, let's check clouds, make sure we did clouds correctly. I think it's military gear, right? Yep, military gear. Uh, tactical helmet. Let's see. We have three of them. Looks like they're all down here in the U shape. Let's check something else just to make sure. Let's go crazy with it. Let's see if there's any tents. There's one tent, which is uh, down here in the bunker. And we'll do a combat jacket. Oh, there happens to be no combat jacket. Let's just try this one. None of those. Now keep in mind guys, this is a lot of items for Livonia. So I would definitely still recommend going in and editing the type files to your liking. But as you can see, doing it this way, it's all in game and our original types gets to just be left alone. So we're gonna come back into here just to kind of recap. So if we come into our file manager and we go to our missions folder, Enoch, as you can see, our normal types files, our vanilla types files have been left alone completely. Uh, we've added nothing crazy. There we go. So as you can see, our types files has been left alone. It's still all of the vanilla values. So I would still recommend going in, changing your types to your liking, balancing your server. That's the endless, endless struggle of a server owner. But this is just an easy way to add modded items using the CE method. This is, this is what we call the CE method. So I don't know, use it, don't use it. I just want to let you guys know that there is another way to do it. That to me is just a lot easier. It's a lot cleaner. You can keep all of your modded stuff in here. That way, if you want to edit your, your types, your Morty's types or your clouds types or however many type files you get, it basically just keeps all of your modded items in one folder. 
versus trying to slap everything into one type's files and then you have a 50,000 long line of types. It's just much easier to make mistakes when you're doing it that way. So you're still gonna have to come into these types files. We'll open up Morty's. You're still gonna have to come into Morty's and you're going to have to, you're still gonna have to edit these files to your liking, um, to your server needs. But like I said, this is just an easy way to add it without cluttering up your vanilla files. So if that helped at all, guys, I would really appreciate it. Thumbs up. Um, I'm going to be going through and I'm going to be basically doing a series to where we go over every file on how to maximize and how to play around with it and just maximize performance while minimizing the amount of stuff we have to actually do to it. So I would appreciate a thumbs up, uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.